with another video filled with a lot of information for you all. And today, in this video, we will discuss about RIT Kotium, which is an engineering institute in Kerala. Why we are discussing about this institute? Because we all know that it is that time of the year when many students will make many crucial decisions about their future, about their career. So, after your high school, you can even consider this institute for your further studies. And for that, we will just try to provide you with almost all the information related to this institute. So, without wasting any time, let's just start our discussion on this institute. So, RIT Kotium, which is also known as Rajiv Gandhi Institute of Technology or Government Engineering College Kotium. This particular institute was established in 1991 and is managed by the government of Kerala as it is a government college. Now, it is affiliated to the APG Abdul Kalam Technological University and it has a big campus of around 87 acres which is having modern classrooms, well-equipped computer rooms, library, sports area and even gym and a lot of other facilities are available within this institute. So yes, you can definitely go to this institute for your engineering. Now, let us just discuss other peculiarities about this institute so that you can gather a lot of information about RIT Cotium. First, let's just talk about the courses which are available in RIT Cotium. So guys, RIT Cotium is offering you with BTEC, BARC, MTech, MCA and other PhD courses. But in this video, let's just discuss about the BTEC courses. So, RIT Cotium is offering BTEC in five specializations, which are civil engineering, which is having 66 seats. The next one is mechanical engineering. Again, 66 seats are available within this branch. The next one is electrical and electronics engineering. Again, 66 seats are available in this branch also. Next in the row is electronics and communication engineering. And again, 66 seats are available. And the last one to go is computer science and engineering. And here again, 66 seats are available. But yes, the ratio of these seats might go up and down according to the policies of the institute. Here, I have a very good news for my NRI students because RIT Cotium do reserve seats for the NRI students under the DASA or CIWG scheme, according to which 15% seats are reserved for NRI or PIO students and among these 15% seats, 5% seats are kept for the CIWG students. So students, here I would even like you to give an approximate number of the seats which are available for NRI students in different branches. So starting with civil engineering here, 18 seats are available for the NRI students. Coming on computer engineering, so here 9 seats are available. In electrical and electronics engineering, again 9 seats are available. And in electronics and communication engineering, again 9 seats are available. And in mechanical engineering, the number goes up again and there are 18 seats available for NRI students in this branch. So this makes the total to around 63 seats for NRI students. This is an approximate number. Now, here I would like to share an important information with my NRI students that you can even download our ebook, the test prep card ebook on DASA or CIWG scheme, which is specially designed for the NRI students so that they can get a brief about the admission process in the Indian Engineering 
colleges and yes you can even contact uh, the test prep card team the link for which is given below in the description box and the link for the ebook is also given in the description box and we are always there to help you and guide you now moving forward let's discuss about the eligibility criteria or how you can apply for the rit Cotium. So guys, the first and the very important step is that you need to appear for the Kerala Engineering, Architecture and Medical Entrance Exam which is quoted as KEAM Entrance Exam and both Indian and NRI students need to give this exam. And admissions are done on the basis of the rank obtained in the KEAM exam through the KEAM counselling. Now, let's just see the other conditions that are required to apply for the RIT Cotium. So firstly, let's discuss about the criteria for the Indian students. So the Indian students need to have completed their plus two with physics, chemistry and mathematics as their main subjects and they should have scored an aggregate of minimum 50% and obviously they need to have a valid score of KEAM exam. Now talking about the NRI students, so again they need to have completed their plus two but they need to score an aggregate of 65% with physics, chemistry and mathematics as their main subjects. And here again, they need to have a valid score of KEAM or JE main exam. Now, the another important thing that we will talk about is about the fee structure of RIT Cotium. So, while discussing about the fee structure, we need to consider one thing that the fees for Indian and the NRI students is different. So, let's just move forward towards that now. Starting with the fee structure for the Indian students. So, the table is here on the screen. So, you, as you can see, the total fees for the Indian students is around rupees 88,000. Now, talking about the NRI students. So, the fees for the NRI students under the DASA quota for the SAC countries is around USD 2300 per semester in almost all the branches. Now, talking about the NRI students under DASA quota for the non-SAC countries. So here the fees is around USD 4300 per semester. Now, we will talk about the fee structure for the CIWG students. So here the fees is around rupees 62,500 per semester in almost all the branches. So that's it for the fees. Now we will talk about the most interesting and the most important thing and that is about the top recruiting companies of RIT Cotium. So these companies are Baiju's, Investnet, USD Global, IBM, Oracle, Wipro, TCS and Cognizant and the another important thing is about the average package. So the average package of RIT Cotium is around 3 to 4 lakhs per annum and the highest package might go up to 6 to 7 lakhs per annum and you know that this varies from year to year. So here I am ending my discussion on RIT Cotium. I hope this video was helpful for you and you were able to gather a lot of information about RIT Cotium and you will definitely consider this institute for your further studies. And if you like this video, then do click on the like button and do share it with your other friends also. But if you are still having any doubts or any queries, then you can ask them in the comment section or you can even contact the test prep card team through the link which is given below in the description box.
and another important thing if you are new to this channel then quickly go and subscribe it and don't forget to click on the bell icon to stay updated and stay connected with the test prep cards team i know the date sheets for all the exams have come and you are all busy in preparing i hope you all achieve wonders all the best